All right, hey there, folks. So, um, I want to show you how to do a fan mount. I did. I was using this fan mount, but it just it didn't work out. So I'm just gonna make something easier. And it's pretty much just stainless steel and a suction cup, stainless steel wire. This is 26 gauge stainless steel wire. I use it for vaping, but I moved on to some bigger wire, so I've got a bunch of this left over. You can use aluminum wire, but the aluminum wire you mostly see in hobby stores are thick. And I don't know if it's going to work too well. Little metal pieces you want to pop out. If you have bigger fans, just get bigger suction cups. I don't think you're going to need anything that big. Alright, so this piece was about 5 inches. I wrapped it around twice evenly to where the ends meet up pretty good. So you hold it upside down. I put it. I make sure that the the wires are facing up, even though the label might not match. All right. All right we're going the other way. Yeah. This. Nope. This way. All right. So I put it in there. Twist it around to where it's center. I take my pliers and give it a twist. So I'll just let it twist around itself until it gets about a half inch long. That's um, Jimmy Duresta there. He's my favorite maker. I like to watch him make stuff while I make stuff. So that's long enough. Alright, so then I take it and I turn it around. You don't want this poking frogs or any inhabitants. This is going to be going in an orchidarium, but still don't want to poke it myself. If you're going to be using this for frogs, what you want to do is you want to put window screen around the front and the back and use zip ties. This is a 20 millimeter fan though. Most people use um, 40s and 60s on bigger setups. Well, I don't think anybody really goes for 80s on bigger setups. All right, so here's an example of one with um, window screen and such on it to keep rock safe. I use bigger suction cups on it. As you can see, there's window screen on the front and on the back. There's no frogs in this tank yet. Hopefully in the future, I'm letting the moths grow in. See, I just push that part back into the hole and yeah. So there you go. There's your really, really easy fan mount. Like I said, I was using these here and it just, this has got two anchoring points not only was these making the fans buzz a lot yeah all right so here's where i'm running my wires through i got these little ventilation pieces and whenever i drill for the ventilation i also got it got a smaller um, bit and drilled a notch in the side for the fan wires And what's really great about this um, using wires and such is once you have it on there, I can manipulate the wire. I like to have it at a good, I don't know, like 45 degree angle or so. Pop this back down in there. Yeah, so now it's nice and solid. Hook it back up. Now, hopefully, I won't be dealing with all the buzzing and everything. Alright, but yeah, that's some easy um, fan mounts. Hope that helps.